What's good, family? I'm Martez Kelly, and I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel. This is crazy. I actually got one of the goats with me. We're about to show y'all how to properly show a home to a high-end buyer. Let me give y'all some backstory. So, I actually got in contact with a buyer who has a $700,000 budget. If y'all know and watched the last video, you know my first property was actually only 45. So this is something new to me. So I reached out to one of the goats and said, you know what, show me and show the channel how to properly show a home to a high-end buyer. So let me go ahead and introduce my boy. Levi, tell him what's good, man. What's going on, guys? My name is Levi Fortner, mm -hmm. here with Martez. Uh, we're at a nice house today. I'm just gonna give you guys a run through, show you a little bit of the tips on showing a nice home. Cool. And another thing too for y'all, uh, we're actually doing a, uh, just did the walkthrough and gonna show y'all, what is it? Um, what $500,000 gets you in here in Pensacola? Like I said, I just wanna try something different with the channel and uh, let me know what y'all like. So go ahead with this channel, with this video, like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. But let's go ahead and get through with the, uh, with the showing. And the light ain't gonna be terrible too, y'all. We had to go on the side of the house. What's the first thing you wanna do? Let's say before you even get to the property, what's the first thing you wanna do? So the key to showing a home is always being prepared, right? You gotta know everything about it, okay? The buyers are gonna hit you with questions. And if you don't know the answer, you know that you can get them the answer right away. This one's gonna be kind of straightforward. It's brand new construction, so you know everything's new, right? You don't have to know the age of the water heater, age of the roof. Um, but you still want to know the specs, price point, square footage, etc. You want to know, like you're the professional, right? And uh, you usually want to get to the house a little bit early if you can. Um, sometimes you might be showing them multiple homes and you might go to the next one. But if you're showing one and you can get there early, turn it on, get a feel for it. It might not be your listing. You know, they're going to ask you where the master bedroom is. They're going to ask you everything about it. You, again, you want to act like you know everything, right? You're the expert. That's why they came to you. Another thing I want to say, and just to uh, piggyback off what Levi was just talking about, uh, and I, with our MLS, it automatically uh, defaults to like 15 minutes for you to view the property. I would go ahead and change that to 30 and let your buyers know to arrive, let's say, let's say we got this one at 10 o'clock, uh, but I went in and did 30, 30 minutes. I would say, hey, you come by at 10, 10. That way you get here at 10, and actually have 10 minutes to knock out the stuff that we feel like you should knock out first. And Levi's gonna get into that once we go ahead and get inside the house. Yeah, absolutely. So, and sometimes they're occupied. So you gotta work around the tenants yeah. as well. This one's vacant, it's easy. You know, there's nobody bothering. You don't have to worry too much about the schedule, but if it's occupied and you're showing more than one in a row, it can be kind of tricky juggling that. So timing's everything. Ooh. Let's take it inside. All right. So couple different ways you can feel it out. Um, you'll kind of get to know your buyers when you're showing them homes. You can either, sometimes you'll have buyers that follow you around, you know, and they really let you lead the show. There's other times when you might show up with a family and uh, you just kind of let them do their own thing and you're here to answer questions. But again, you gotta always know the data. That's, that's key, that shows that you're the professional, puts you above, they're gonna trust you. You gotta sound educated. So this house is uh, just under 550K. Like I said, brand new construction, 2021. Um, it's stunning, all the amenities. You got tankless water heater. Um, looks like quartz countertops. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bath. And uh, let's take a look. So you got the master downstairs. Uh, that's usually preferred. Occasionally, if it's a young couple, they don't matter. You know, master can be upstairs, but this is more appealing. This could sell to an older couple kids or whatnot they can be upstairs um, you got all the amenities matching stainless steel and again you kind of just let them do their own thing they're really gonna soak it in right mm -hmm. you can sell the home but I always tell buyers you're gonna know mm -hmm. they're gonna feel it you know you can only upsell so much so. one of the things that I like to do as well is uh, because I've done a couple of showings is I actually tell the buyers pull into the driveway like this is actually your home so I want you to, I try to make it somewhat like an experience. And if you think that's crazy, let me know. No, but it's great. It just make the experience. Like, hey, if you're gonna buy this, I want you to go ahead and practice like it's yours already. But that's one of the things that I do as well. It's a feeling. Yeah. I always say that, like, 
you know, they're going to sell it to themselves. Yep. I tell buyers, I'm just here to open the door for the most part. Mm -hmm. I got the knowledge. I'm going to help you get a deal. <laughs> but you're going to tell me which one it is. Oh, and we got this where we was right here, y'all. A little porch area. Nice, nice little spot. So, masters right off of the kitchen. Um, you got the guest bath right here. Just a half bath. This door right here closes. So you got a little bit of privacy. You step in, boom, you got a walk-in closet, built-in shelving. Pretty decent. And guys, this home's staged, which is really helps home sell. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't always have to do that in this market. It depends at the price point. This is a higher end home. Great staging will help a house sell quickly. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, we got a bathroom over there too. Yep. En suite. I don't think the uh, the lighting in here does this house justice, y'all. Just being real. If it was the white lights, okay. it'll show up. Mm -hmm. All right, so keep going with them. You're gonna follow them. We got the mud room. Washer and dryer already here. That cabinet is where your washing dryer as well. street is up and coming There's a lot of new construction around here so it's desirable you got to know uh, school zones you got to know sometimes they're going to ask you about crime you can't say nothing about that mm -hmm. <laughs> but you just got to be educated and know know the area even if you're not familiar with it that's why key to always study beforehand Stairs. You got a wet bar, which is awesome. Uh, you got a TV, wall mounted. You're gonna have a, another bedroom over here with a bathroom attached. That's crazy. I didn't even notice this the first time I walked through. I'm loving that finish though. Inside the shower, that's beautiful. Right. And at this point, you know, you're having fun with your buyers. You're letting them lighten in the mood, joking around a little bit. They're soaking it in. They might be asking you questions. Hopefully, you've built a rapport with them. I would say with buyer leads, uh, you know, if you're meeting them for the first time at the home, of course, you want to know that they're qualified, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I always like personally to try to set up at least two showings if I'm meeting them for the first time because you don't want them to associate you with only the house, mm. right? You might just be considered this home and they'll call the next realtor. Once you show them more than one home, you kind of earn that trust. So, I didn't just show y'all this. Little pro tip. A nice little setup right here. That's your TV. Get home, make your James Bond Martini. Exactly. <laughs> Shaking that stir. All right, so we come back. We got two more bedrooms, kind of split floor plan. And I know we said, y'all probably getting echo and stuff. I know we said uh, turn on all the lights. Some of these lights won't come on. Some of the lights don't but come on. But you want to make sure you turn on all the lights. Yes, absolutely. Get there before, turn the lights on if you can. Make it kind of feel like they're coming into their home, you know. Yeah. Otherwise, the buyers, they'll, they'll run ahead of you, start flicking things on. Yeah. Not to mention it's a pandemic, so. <laughs> yeah. This bathroom here as well. This is the third and final full bath. You got the double vanity. Perfect for kids or a couple. His and her toothbrush, whatever. 
And then the last bedroom. We actually got this light on. And this is when you want to fill out your buyers. You never know how many kids they got, if it's a family, if it's a single guy, just a young couple. You could say this is an office, this is another bedroom, home gym. You know, fill it out. Pretty decent closet. Yeah. For a guest bed? Sure. Oh yeah. Alright guys, so we're just gonna finish up outside, show them the backyard. And I just wanted to mention what Martez just touched on. He mentioned you kind of want it to be an experience, right? Just have fun with it, lighten up. You don't have to be all salesy the whole time. Uh, like I said, they're going to know. They're going to feel it. It's something you really don't have to sell the house that much yourself. Just know the knowledge yeah. and enjoy it. Have a good time, build some rapport. We're going to show the backyard real quick before we wrap up. Pretty decent always upsell things right you can mention that they can finish this privacy fencing if they want mm -hmm. kind of make this a little oasis and they this animals dogs you know and this home right here the one right here is actually for sale as well i was actually jumping between the two on um, which one to uh show you guys but if you find yourself in a situation like this book them both book them both back to back that's what you can say we can we can look at the one next door because one thing that that one has that this one doesn't have that your buyers may like is that uh, that concrete slab right there. Yeah. The idea of a driveway right. uh, in the backyard and it doesn't have one in the front. Nope. So yeah, that's something that they may like with the cars being behind the house. Some people may want it in the front. That's your buyer's thing to do. But you got anything else you want to add, bro? Yeah, of course. Taking off, you always want to leave the house how you found it, especially if it's another listing agent's home. That's mm -hmm. crucial. Uh, it's a respect thing as well. So you're going to let your buyers kind of run out. If it's the only showing for the day, you know, you thank them, you tell them you're excited, you follow up with any information they got, mm -hmm. ask them how it went, what do they think of the home. You usually kind of get a feeling, you can tell. Uh, it's pretty easy to read people, you know. Mm -hmm. They're either going to love the house or eh, they're going to. So you'll know, but again, leave it how you found it. That's key. You want to lock it up, clean up, make sure they didn't mess with anything. Um, I've showed occupied homes where the kids went in the dresser, kitchen drawers, and played with food and stuff. You got to be careful. You got to watch them. <laughs> this is new construction. It's vacant. This is easy. But uh, again, just leave it how you found it. It's a respect thing. And uh, make sure you lock up. You got the keys. Check all the doors. Wrap up. That's pretty much it. I always like to um, touch with them after the showing. Again, ask them how they liked it, how they mm -hmm. felt about it. Um, they could rate it on a scale. If you're showing other homes, I always say, how would you compare this home to the mm -hmm. last home we showed? Yeah. Or remember this house when we go to the next one, right? And then that way, because they can, if you're showing a lot of homes in a day, they can kind of get confused, yeah. start to forget. Yeah. And uh, that's important. Like I said, you'll know when they leave. They're either gonna be kind of anxious about it and really like the home, or they'll be wanting to see something else. Yeah. So, and that's another thing that I'm, I'm probably gonna do when I get home, is I actually show y'all, because on my first few showings, I actually put some packets together. And if you are an a part of the Association of Realtors, you'll be able to do exactly what I did, because I use RPR to pull my buyer's reports. And I'll just show y'all exactly what I did, and uh, you can try that. So we're going to pause right there in the video and I'm actually about to show y'all exactly what I do. So the first thing you want to do is obviously go to RPR and then what you want to do is type in the address that you are showing at that moment. I'm picking the one that I just sold and it's crazy because it's not even showing that it's my listing anymore since I left EXP. And then what you want to do is actually click this button here where you can create a report. Then we're going to create the property report and i'm making this as quick as possible run the report then the report will be generated then the report is actually going to be generated and what i like to do for my buyers is just giving them as much information as possible so when we walk away from the home they can still got inf still have information so i like to take the first few pages page one i think it's until page seven and to the bottom of all of the uh 
and to the bottom of all of the pictures. So when they get back home, they can revisit that experience of seeing those pictures and things. So when you talk about it later, they can pull that information. And on this next part as well, I like to give them the school information just so they can get some uh, unbiased or if it is biased, it's not my information in regards to the school zones. That's it. You can use that. Um, but with that being said, there's not much more for me to touch on. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you really like this and want to see more content from Levi, let me know. Drop it in the comment section down below. I know for a fact I'm going to have an interview with him because just like me, he was part-time four years ago, and now he's killing the game. How much you got in escort right now, bro? <laughs> uh, 1.5, 1.7. 1, 1. 1. 1.7 mil in escrow right now, and that's not on how much he's closed before. But these are the type of people you want to surround yourself with. These are the type of people you need to know uh, in regards to what to do uh, for y'all out there who part-time as well. But I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in. Uh, click right here to subscribe and click right here to watch our next video.